Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Nover. No, no, okay, this is my second try. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Whatever this mod is called, it's got a weird name. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna do the defense mission against the Daldorim. All right. So I was thinking about what we actually want to be playing on this mission. Obviously, the nuclear widow mines is going to be a big part of our lifestyle. I think that uh, permanent turrets seem like they'll be pretty good. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make too many of them. And then I think this is the mission that the Warhound is really going to get to shine. And then in order to help deal with stuff, I kind of feel, oh, <laughs> is this stupid? Actually, no, it's brilliant. Oh, baby. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm thinking later. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to get any value out of the Predator. We've used it a lot. And then loaded units can cast abilities while transported. And the Hercules gains double movement speed and acceleration and access to ignite afterburners. <laughs> uh, okay, that sounds very funny. Then we're going to take a look-see over here, and I think that we want to grab... We want anti-ground, I guess? 96 swarmlings is very funny. Okay, we're doing 96 swarmlings because that is such an odd number. <laughs> I mean, it's even, but you know what I mean. And then... I think we need permanent cloaking on our operatives because at this point, their biggest contribution to the team is the ability to drop uh, the Psy emitters, right? We're going to get EMP, the cloak suit, holographic decoy, and let's get the grenade launcher. That might be good here. And let's give this a go. So I think that Warhounds are what we kind of want to do. Obviously, first things first. It is time to test the beautiful, beautiful widow mine of doom. And we're going to see exactly how good this is. And then, of course, we are going to make a lot of those warhounds. We haven't really used them much. However, I think this is the mission for them. Did we start with any? No, we didn't. Perfect. All right. Uh, go get them. <laughs> sorry, <I w> <laughs> sorry, the widow mine, <laughs> the voice lines, <laughs> they got me. <laughs> I didn't see the widow mine thing because I got distracted. <laughs> so it's not a nuclear explosion, but you know what? It is pretty darn sizable. That is a, a big old burst. Uh, these do splash damage to friendlies, right? But they don't. Oh, these are not going to be too good, are they? Because there's going to be observers everywhere, and they've got a one-minute cooldown. Well, they've been fun already. If they don't end up being too useful because they're just such overkill, I think that's okay for now. I do want to take this somewhat seriously because the power... The enemy power is really high on this mission, right? They've just got a lot of stuff going on. Sorry, the audio splicing there was very unexpected, <laughs> and I liked it quite a bit. <laughs> Careful! Oh, well, the one, whatever, the next attack wave's gonna get got. And let's get an engineering bay so that we can grab... Oh, you know what? Let's put it in the subway. There, it's gonna be safe, for now. Uh, yeah, we're getting the engineering bay so we can get the permanent healing turret, and we're going to... Grab an orbital command. Warhounds are starting their production with at a 12 range. They should be able to sit in the back and do a lot. They'll carve through our forces unless we stop them. Thanksgiving Taldorim, they're gonna carve us like a turkey. Alright, so the the Wraith is actually a really good idea though. Like <laughs> sorry, there's a bunch of different things that I need to talk about at the beginning of this mission, and it's uh it's a bit much, but the, I think the Wraith is going to be really good. If it only costs 100 minerals and one supply, all the big attack waves besides the, like, random immortal waves? Why are they T-posing at the enemy? <laughs> we have the T-posers! <laughs> Got her gun between her legs. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't want to didn't wanna get got by that. Okay, these wraiths don't actually do anything right here. I gotta be careful with them. So these... Oh, you know what? While we rebuild... Let's, uh... 
drop a little bit of something over here to keep this area safe. Love it. If we had dropped this earlier, it would have been really good against them. But I didn't do that. Because I was, I was busy thinking about a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> why, why do we have a burrowed reactor? Oh, game. It's fine. We're gonna just get our gas geysers. And then... One thing I was thinking about on this mission is usually you end up with like 10k, 10k in the bank. And if that ends up happening this time, we're actually going to be able to build stack defense that doesn't require supply inside of it. Which should be really strong. Did I lose all my Hercules? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did. We're going to have to get them building stuff as well. And this area looks like... <laughs> the swarmlings are just killing everything. They're keeping the entire lane safe. I've ordered the defenders of man to I love them. Their fortifications in the side streets. The Taldarim will probably strike these areas. So we're going to get an insane economy really quick here, and it's actually going to be useful for once. Usually this mission is like, you get really good economy for the battle cruisers early, and then you end up gigamaxed. All right. From the left. Go get him, cheap raids. Oh, he's not rebuilding this, which is a little bit disappointing. They killed my subway guy as well. I forgot about that. All right, you two here, and that should be that. Do you guys have... I don't see an observer there. Oh, yeah, they don't get cloak. I forgot about that. So we actually need a critical mass of raids. Well, that's not good for the beginning here. It'll be good eventually when they're just really cheap. We just haven't gotten there. Uh, there this is actually going to be okay. It's not going to be the end of the world. This is definitely harder than the beginning bit. This is one of those missions that Nova just completely does everything on her own for the most part, normally. And we have siege tanks and we have liberators normally. And we just don't have any of that siege mode potential here which is going to make life a little bit harder. So let's just keep trying to get these healing turrets everywhere to help everyone out. And hopefully... I'm actually starting to feel really scared. <laughs> I thought things were going to be easy, and now I have a feeling things are going to be hard. That's a shame. I'm not a challenge runner. I don't do well with stress. I do like the Warhound, though. Like, look at him. He's shooting from half a mile away. He doesn't fire off his Haywire missiles, though, from that distance, which is a bit sad. But then when they get into range... Yeah, has to be at that side. Okay, let's uh, keep dropping these, get free stuff, get all of our upgrades going. And... Oh, this is not a reactor. I'm pretty sure we can react with raids. Be careful, Nova. Oh, gosh. Enemy void rays are flying in from the right side. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Nova. I have four raids. There are innocent people here. We gotta get some starports. <laughs> you just don't care. Where is my operatives? Let's get the operatives into the subway, pop them out over there, spawn some Zerg to help us out. I think that's gonna be really important. This area is starting to look good. Basically, siege weapons. Nova, the first squadrons in the Dominion fleet have arrived. Thank you. Begin supporting our defenses. Our Gorgon class battle cruisers are particularly effective against heavy resistance. Send in the Gorgon Zola. And I'll command them to clear an area. Let's do it. <laughs> we kind of have to right now. Oh yeah, the Haywire. I'm so used to the Haywire missile that I played like four times in the beta of Heart of the Swarm and then never touched again. Um, they, they had the ability to hit air. I have like some very specific memories from that because it was so stupid and Warhounds countered Void Rays. And I keep thinking that they'll hit air here, but they don't because this is a fair version apparently. But uh, I gotta, gotta learn. Let's just set this here. A bunch of these guys over here that look pretty good. Maybe a nice pair of warriors on this side. I don't know how those got over there, but sure. 
and as long as we have repair guys... Okay. Approaching the central entrance to our base. I am prepared Go for this. Gorgon if you can, Nova. Oh, we don't... I guess the Gorgon will help a lot as well, but we have the operatives. They're going to be able to do a lot here. And then we're going to have to help this side. And drop our Psy emitter. Then anyone that gets past, we can spam EMP on and take down. Make our little Nova friends. Okay, we're doing it. What are we? Where are we not doing so hot? No, it's the the Herks. Well, they're probably dead now. They tried their best. <laughs> Why are? Normal. What? Oh, this is a bad. This is the best science experiment ever. <laughs> well then, um, feeling pretty good about this one. I w I've been feeling a little bit sketched out before. I was like, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. We have to put so much supply in all these different places. Yeah, okay. Um, that that is a good science. Also, we don't have to keep the area alive nearly as long. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. So Odin is just gonna live here. The Zerg Swarm is going to constantly take all these down. They're doing fantastic. We've got a lot of snipers on this side and on this side. The Warhound is the Warhound is super legit. And then we need to just build up our Wraith Force so that they can intercept and take down the scary enemy attack waves. This is working great. Let's keep getting these upgrades. Ooh, this area needs a little bit of help. So like five of them over here. The budgeting is a little bit difficult. Oh, no, no. EMP him. Hey, <laughs> this guy, good thing we got our armor upgrades. <laughs> he did it. So it looks like the defenders of man are really dumb and they're not defending their man. But besides that, it's okay. All right, here we go. There's 24 wraiths. Will the wraiths be able to walk all over the wrath walk? Who knows? Sure hope so, though. I'm just going to summon these out of safety's sake, and then hopefully we don't lose too much. Even if we don't take all this down, it's okay. It's really cheap. We have the money. Okay. Bargain bin wraiths that can't shoot ground are actually pretty good. <laughs> As I said, it's it's just like wrath walkers that are the big antagonist, right? So it'll be okay. I love it. Okay. We can't chrono these upgrades. I was trying to do that for a moment. Yeah, we just gotta be prepared on the other side for the guys. Keep just a little bit of a watch. Be vigilant about what could happen. And I'm feeling like this area needs help. <laughs> There's just like little, little groups of incompetent people everywhere. And that's, it's just like real life. But this time it's the Defenders of Man running too far forward. I have everybody on hold position because it's just a little bit safer that way. It seems okay though. Uh oh. Uh, we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, we should be able to sneak on in, and once again, we don't have to destroy everything, we just have to do enough damage to them. This is going great. Oh, they go down easy. Get some more wraiths. It does appear that the Defenders of Man... I think that they do normally rebuild. And they're not doing that here. Which is a bit nasty. Uh, we should have battlecruisers now, though. I think we're going to be okay. Um, 
There's more guys inside of the subway. Uh, it's just... I'm looking at this mission, trying to figure out where we catastrophically fail. We gotta start getting some turrets. I think I know where I want the turrets. I have my idea. So we have this ready. Oh gosh. Oh, you can take that out at least. But remember, these have minimum range as well, which makes life, uh... Oh gosh. Where's the remainder of the Dominion when we need them? I'm sorry for talking bad about you, Defenders of Man. You gotta defend me, man. Let's drop another Psy emitter over here. I feel like we've been having great, great luck with these. Just keep this area nice and clear. And then... We're just going to build turrets. Oh, that's the wrong turret. I guess they both have T. There's Janara. This is actually taking a really long time. <laughs> Uh oh. We need to get more defenses in place quickly. I don't think the Siamitter Zerg are gonna beat uh Janara either. Okay, this is bad. We need more guys over there. Lots of these, get this armor upgrade. Go ahead, command. Fortunately, uh Is this the center with the Odin? Oh! Did the Siamitter Zerg attack over there? How, the Odin's gone. That's not good. This went well. Finally gone? I don't think so. But there are still more Taldarim attacking. Our These guys over here. Ended. We just gotta keep the area. Whoa! Hello, Gorgon. <laughs> You're doing good. I appreciate your hard work. This is looking pretty nice. Okay. Lots and lots of auto turrets, just how it should be. It's beautiful. Got the raids coming this way. And we got a lot of raids. Oh my goodness, well. Move over here to defend. Uh, this area definitely needs some... Um, of you, right here. Take the voids down. 500 more enemies remaining. We've made it through the bulk of the problems. But we're still not in the clear just yet. There's so much to do. Uh, do we have... We have operatives alive again? I think they got blasted. Try to make some more. And try to keep our eyes out for the voids. <laughs> Auto turrets are... They're really putting in the work today. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's going to be a big old void ray attack soon. I think. This area is looking fine. Oh, this area is gone. We gotta pull back. Ooh. Here are the voids. You know what? I think we just have to pull back to the ramparts all the way. This mission is definitely proving itself to be one of the harder ones so far. You guys get in the subway. Oh gosh, uh, we want to go together as a team. Uh, we're going to win that with the auto turrets. That's what they're for. Oh my. That's not good. Pull a little bit of this back. We're going to have the Gorgons in a moment. They're going to be very helpful. We have so many auto turrets, though, we're not going to die. 200 more enemies remain. Oh, gosh. Yeah, these voids. 
four, three, two, one, and friendship. I should have rhymed one with Gorgon. That's why I'm losing. I didn't do it. Well, luckily this area is doing great. <laughs> Somewhere has to be. I have more bad news. Another wave of void rays is en route from the opposite direction. Okay. Set up our defenses right there. And good, good, good. Tearing through their stuff on that side. Well, this this Chad is just holding the fort on his own. Looks good. All right, here we go. Uh, if you are if you are not a person who watches and you're more of a listener, I would say that this is the time that you want to watch because uh, do not fire. This should be good. Oh no! Oh, they weren't burrowed. No! Oh, I didn't have them burrowed inside of the Hercules. It's okay. I'm making another one. I was prepared to make a backup. I forgot that they have to be burrowed in order to fire. Oh, I just did it by default the first time. Because it just made intuitive sense and then I forgot. Um. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry people. Oh gosh, I don't want to die. Here, we need an operative. We need a lot of hercs so we can make turrets. We're going to burrow these. Pick up, pick up. Go zoom in. Get him, Bunker. Here we go. Oh, I didn't do nearly enough. Oh, there we go. Got it. Taldarim casualties are high. I really tried with the big boom widow mines, okay? It's just, they're, it turns out that when they destroy the entire universe with their booms, it's a little bit fiddly to use. What are you going to do? <laughs> that was a stressful mission. Um, the, uh, the turrets are good, but I guess, A, they take a really long time to build. They take a lot of actions to build. And then, of course, they have the issue where... Auto turrets are not actually very strong against immortals and stalkers, and perditions are useless. And uh, the void rays are pretty good too. So uh, they're definitely, definitely could have gone better if I went if I went and did that strategy again. It would have been much smoother. It's just there were some learning curves about what was going on. But you know what? It worked out, and we got to use some of the tools that we didn't get to use before. Because I hadn't gotten to use the warhound, I felt bad about it. Now we have. So that's great. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Grant almost losing on a mission. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.